Mayors from across the state standing in solidarity today with the family of Anaya Blanchard. As WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough explains, it's all part of a mission to make Anaya's law official. Well, a somber start to the week here in Auburn as this marks three years exactly since Anaya Blanchard was kidnapped from a convenience store and later killed. Mayors from Alabama's 10 big cities joined Anaya's parents and siblings today to endorse Anaya's law. It would essentially give judges more discretion when it comes to denying bond for violent offenders. We don't want them to feel the same pain I felt when I woke up on October 24th and my sister was missing. So please vote on November, November 8th, Amendment 1. Authorities say the man accused of killing Anaya Blanchard, Ibrahim Yazid, was out on bond on a previous kidnapping charge when Anaya Blanchard was kidnapped and killed. Get out there, make your statement known. Let, you know, these offenders know we won't take it anymore. Stand up, take back the safety of these streets. The Alabama legislature and Governor Kay Ivey have already signed off on Anaya's law. Now it's up to voters on November 8th. It's been something that the Big Ten mayors have been working on for several years now. And then when you hear the, the real life story of what happens when we allow violent offenders to be back out on our streets, there are consequences. And Anaya's life was taken. She should be attending school here at Auburn this fall, getting ready to graduate. And Anaya's loved ones say they feel confident her memory will live on through Anaya's law once voters have their say on November 8th. In Auburn, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.